Hi, Kitty Cats. Today is April 30th, 2024, and I want to address a couple of concerns that I got in comments from Lacroix999. The first concern is whether I understand anything about the human brain, human development, human biology, or gender dysphoria. And fortunately, not only am I transgender, I'm also a doctor. I have an undergraduate education in biology and chemistry, and I completed a PhD in analytical chemistry. Over the course of the past year and a half, I've written over 120 articles and recorded over 70 podcasts, all exploring the origin and nature of identity, particularly gender. And this includes my own original theory of identity and gender that I've now presented in several forums. You can find out more about this if you look at the link in my bio. So Lacroix, hopefully that addresses that concern. I have you covered. So I'll move on to the next concern. Regarding gender-affirming surgery, Lacroix says, and I quote, that I failed to mention the majority of people have huge amounts of regret. There was a meta-analysis published recently that did not affirm, but rather confirm, the startlingly low rate of regret of gender-affirming surgery, which hovers around 1%. In comparison, if you look at elective cosmetic surgery, such as breast augmentation, or body contouring or rhinoplasty, the regret rates go range anywhere from 10% to 50%. And if you compare it to orthopedic surgery, such as total hip replacement or total knee replacement, uh, that has regret rates around 17%. So you can see that gender affirming surgery is at least one tenth the regret rate of other surgeries and as high as one fiftieth the rate. So Lacroix, I don't know where you got your data, but hopefully this addresses that concern. If you like this video, please follow me, please like this, please share it. And if you want to talk about this more, use the hash hashtag AmiInThailand, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye!